Again! You got Myron over here <laughs> laying in bed with dude, grabbing him from behind, <laughs> cuddling, like, that's not gay. Bro, those were my teammates. This is him, like, completely losing composure. I'll make you the fucking sodomite that you really are, you fucking pussy! He said, I'll make you the sodomite that you are. Meaning, he's he wants them to fuck his ass. Nice, Myron. <laughs> you fucking know it, I will eat you, motherfucker! He says I am gay, and then he wants to eat me. <laughs> All I can tell you, sir, is that he's gay. Gay! What's up guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. We are back with more on the Fresh and Fit drama. Now Abba and Preach have done a video that said Fresh and Fit and Andrew Tate claim that they are sodomites. Okay, which means people that get fucked in the ass. And they want to attack Abba and Preach. Okay, so let's jump right in. Again! <laughs> Apparently, both you and I are very gay. At the end of the day, bro, you can't win because you're a sodomite. You lose <laughs> automatically. No one gives a fuck what you got to say. Let me keep this up. I get this a lot. I get called uh, gay pretty often. Preach much <laughs> more than me. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. He called, the, he called me and you bunch sodomites a bunch of time, and they played a clip of you dancing. Yeah, that's Mean Gene. Wait, who's Mean Gene? Uh, mean Gene is, um, is a character that I have when I dance whacking. Whacking? Yeah. Okay, go on. I used to dance whacking. I don't dance anymore. No? No. You make money moves? Yeah, man, I was, I was also teaching that dance. Yeah, they saw it as a bit calling you a sodomite a bunch. That's fine. And they got me over here. <laughs> and you're gay because you dance south? Oh, my God. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Okay, so Myron and Fresh, or at least Myron, is calling Abba and Preach gay for dancing clips. What? Okay, let's show a few pictures of Myron that might indicate that he's gay. As you can see, he's in bed hugging men, he's kissing men, he's all over guys, right? And he's calling Abba and Preach gay and saying they take it in the ass because there's videos of them dancing. People, I don't people DM'd me a bunch of times. A lot of people hit me up, right? And, and look, well, you know, you know I, I saw Andrew Tate in the comments being like, I'm not surprised. And here's the thing. I think this is one of the funniest insults online because to me, it's not one. And this is also something that I think is like really common for black folks especially because everything is sus. Everything is, you Perfect. like anime? Gay. You like reading books? Gay. Me hanging out with girls? That's gay. Me dancing? That's <laughs> gay. You like to play video games a lot, especially back in the day when it wasn't cool? Gay. Everything was gay. It always used to make me laugh because I'm like, first off, I don't see anything wrong with being gay. And secondly, the hyper-masculine dudes who are like, oh man, that's gay, blah, blah, blah. They do the most such shit behind closed doors. You got Myron over here laying in bed with dude, grabbing him from behind, cuddling, like, that's not gay. I've been to a lot of concerts. I ain't never been by well, one hey, of my homies hey, like, hey, yeah, hey, yo. <laughs> Look at that here, right? This looks like he's at a rave. He's probably fucking on drugs, potentially. And then he's, what you don't see down below off camera is his cock in this dude's ass. All I can tell you, sir, is that he's gay. Gay, gay! Yo. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Calm down, Diddy. I, I, I looked at those pictures, and I wanted to be open-minded. I have... <laughs> I haven't even seen all of these. I haven't seen this one. That's pretty funny. Literally never been sitting in a chair like a... <laughs> Look, and there's other guys off camera, <laughs> shirtless as well. Booth and laid back into another man. <laughs> he's with this one a lot. Fucking laying on him. Flat. And while he put his arms around... <laughs> Let me address this real quick, because people yeah. say that dumb shit. Oh, I saw a gay picture of you. Bro, those were my teammates. Have you ever played <laughs> uh, a sport at a high level, military, <laughs> uh, law enforcement, maybe uh, com combat sports, anything? If you're in combat sports, <laughs> law enforcement, or just playing any kind of competitive sports, Myron claims it's normal that you're all over another dude. Taking a step away from all the nonsense for a moment, I can teach you how to bang a lot of hot chicks. Most guys that sign up with my training end up with their calendars packed full of dates by the second or third week. You can book a free 30 minute call with the link in the description and we'll go over how we can help you solve your problems with girls very, very quickly. And we have that evidence by over 1,250 testimonials, okay? The best program in the space with the most proof. Else like that, where you have a team, it's not gay. It's just like, it's just what it is. You just horse around. It's boys being boys, right? You know guys funny? being guys. When you're in a hyper masculine environment with a lot of other dudes, sometimes you just want to be up in the ass. But it's always the dude who are like, <laughs> <laughs> Let me see your asshole. Why? 
But you know what? At some point, these fists are going to chase your fucking face. And <laughs> Look at now. He's fucking melting down. He's got glasses on. Let's play a couple clips of him being very angry. Okay, in the nuclear meltdown video. I don't fucking need to do this shit, and I don't need to fucking sell my soul. Some of you motherfuckers need to get a fucking spawn, you jellyfish SpongeBob, and it pisses me off how soft all you motherfuckers are, bro. <laughs> so as you can see, he has very little control over his emotions and his anger. You're gonna get your shit rocked, you bitch ass motherfucker. <laughs> now he's threatening to beat them up. Let's look at the facts. Get out of fantasy land for a moment. Myron and Fresh challenged Abba and Preach to a boxing match. Preach accepted. He said, I'll fight one of you and then the other one. And then they literally put up on their community tab. Oh, we don't want any drama with anybody. Blah, blah. They're the ones that made the challenge. It got accepted and they went running scared and they went radio silent and they never actually came good on their initial challenge. Same exact thing that happened with me and Michael Sartain. He's like, oh, I'll fight him tomorrow. I'll fight him. I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's pick a date. And he's like, oh, maybe we can debate sometime in the future. It's like, you're such a fucking puss. You know it. No one fucking respects y'all. Now he's saying, <laughs> no one respects Abba and Preach yeah, when, when their show's a hundred times more classy than Myron's shit. Myron's just a fucking clown performing on stage. And he's saying he's going to go fucking beat them up, even though they accepted his fight challenge. Do you see the fucking irony here? That's why I've been on YouTube for 10 fucking years. And if we got to take this fucking video down YouTube, because I'm roasting your dumbass, because I know your audience is going to sit there and report it for harassment, because you're a fucking pussy, then so fucking be it. You made me 30 plus fucking videos talking shit. Uh, actually, it's 44 videos. <laughs> 30 plus videos talking shit. 44 and counting. He just got another one making fun of this. Myron can't like control himself. He has no frame. He sucks with girls. Okay, he's a huge fucking loser. And now he's been melting down openly on camera, showing everybody his true color. But you can't last three minutes in a fuck around with me because you know I'll demolish you. You know I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Keep in mind, they accepted his boxing match. You know it. This is him like completely losing composure. I'll make you the fucking sodomite that you really are, you fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> now he's saying he'll make them the sodomite that he is, that they really are. Which, if you translate that literally, if he's gonna make them a sodomite, he's asking for them to fuck his ass. That's literally what he's asking. He said, "I'll make you the sodomite that you are." Keep in mind, a sodomite is someone who fucks someone else in the ass. Myron's saying that he'll come and box them and make them a sodomite, meaning he's he wants them to fuck his ass. Okay, that you can translate that literally to him requesting that his ass get fucked by them. Nice, Myron. <laughs> you fucking know I will eat you, motherfucker. He says. I am gay, and then he wants to eat me. <laughs> he wants you to fuck his ass, too. I will eat you. <laughs> you want to put me in your mouth. This man is confused. You got the fucking fear of God in you, man. But it's a pussy. You atheist piece of shit. Your parents don't fucking rock with you. No one respects you, and you fucking know that shit. You piece of. <laughs> I've been preach play this to their whole audience. This little performance. We'll put in the end screen. Okay, the video of Myron having a nuclear meltdown. That's well worth a watch. You have to see how he just completely loses his shit and fucking shatters a coffee mug and breaks his TV. Good shit. Run this nigga on Earth, man. Oh, and you I'll fuck you up. You're not supposed to fucking threaten people on YouTube either. I'll fuck you up. I'll eat you. I'll have you fuck my ass. You can know it. If you get the same sexual gratification of dealing with a woman that you're dealing with, do dealing with a guy, human beings are intrinsically lazy creatures. You want to go with the path of least resistance. If you get sexual satisfaction from dudes <laughs> and chicks, well, what's easier to get? Dudes. Dudes. <laughs> now we see how all those pictures let's pop up those pictures again of him horsing around with the boys as he calls it and okay, now he's making the argument that it's easier to get with dudes look <laughs> look at the chick's face next to him she's like uh what are you trying to say there bro why the hell are you gonna go through the effort of courting a girl <laughs> spending money having to meet all <laughs> oh how fucking hilarious would that be if mine was secretly gay that's what everybody thinks about rst tyler okay owen cook he admitted being gay on camera like a hundred times <laughs> he's always talking and acting gay and saying that he's gay now myron here is making a, a big argument telling everybody how it's too much trouble to date girls and it's easier to date guys prerequisites when you can go in and <laughs> just smash a guy and be done with it i have a problem with fucking you this is a sickness <laughs> of the highest order he's saying but what is one thing they're gonna they're, they're gonna <laughs> sucking what is one thing they're gonna sucking Nigga, even gay dudes got the beat on that. What the? Bruh. Yo, no, dog. I don't know. I'm just assuming. I'm just assuming. I don't know. What? I don't know. Bro, On personal experience. Bro, you don't know. I'm assuming. Okay.
You, my friend, your sexual orientation is confusion. Uh, you do not know what you want because you have not gone out and tried it. That is why you are so busy calling everyone gay. You are hoping they are going to just try it on you one day. I call this one spontaneous homosexuality. <laughs> you are hoping for this experience. Embrace it. Most of us already believe that you are gay. <laughs> but we are okay with it. The problem is you are not. Female vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> Let's replay that clip. <laughs> Female vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> Keep in mind, I did a different video. We can pop up the thumbnail for that. Where Myron said that he's only tried eating pussy one time in his entire life. And he said it was a terrible experience. And he said that he'll never do it again because vaginas are gross. Now we just heard him say on this fucking dumb show here, vaginas are disgusting. Guys that are killing it in the game or that like fucking hot chicks would never talk like that. <laughs> I've never heard any of my advanced friends, world class at this, be like, hey guys, uh, vaginas are kind of gross. <laughs> vaginas are kind of disgusting. And making all these arguments about why it's better to bang dudes and easy. It's like, what the fuck? And then he's in all these pictures and he's like, yeah, that's because we're horsing around. You don't understand. Again, I can pack your calendar full of dates, get you a lot more matches, a lot more fucking phone numbers, a lot more dates, a lot more hookup opportunities and help you find your dream girlfriend. Book a free 30 minute call. Let us go over all the options with you. No, no, no. It is hilarious that the men who the girl says no they're not are obsessed with having sex with women find their private parts disgusting. Yeah, exactly. I, I've pointed it out over and over the hypocrisy, right? You have all these like so-called dating experts that have busted girlfriends, busted wives, and their game advice is nonsensical. Now we have a guy that's supposedly, as he calls it, running the number one podcast for men, okay, the number one dating podcast in the world. And he's like, ew, vaginas are gross. Vaginas are disgusting. <laughs> it's like, oh, really? Okay, why don't you go pretend to be a fitness expert again? Why wouldn't you want to please your woman? You know, because have you not ever like seen- Like I said before, it's a woman's job to please a man, not those- because women deserve less and he's a misogynist. Now you know. Way around. No, that is actually ridiculous. When it comes to being intimate and in the bedroom. He's saying women, it's women's job to fucking please the guy and not the other way around. And he's trying to make this argument to a girl. What a fucking dumbass. It's not, it's like, when, when, when you do something for someone, have you not seen how, and they like it, have you not seen how much they perform better? And I'm not just talking sexually, like in general. I don't want to like an asshole, but a woman's ejaculation is irrelevant. Most women get off on you getting off. No, that's not true. Like, again, this is a guy that has no fucking real experience in the dating game. Okay, he has no real skills. He came to me for advice. Okay, we can pop up that email as I love to show. He came to me asking me for help. I told him to fuck off. Okay, but he said his whole circle is clueless and he's banging girls between a four and an eight. Okay, fours are obviously disgusting. Not for Myron Gaines. Now he's saying women don't get off from their own orgasms and their own pleasure in sex. They get off from the guy getting off. Totally fucking warped. And you have all these kids that watch this shit. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. That's absolutely not true. Okay, you should be making the girl come in all the different positions you bang her in, as well as with your mouth. He's just a fucking loser nerd. He's like, vaginas are gross. It's, it's not the guy's job to make the girl come. It's like, shut up. It's like so fucking off and wrong. Okay, and he bounces from podcast to podcast, you know, showering everybody with his wisdom. That's the truth. <laughs> I provide. You claim you are a provider, but you cannot provide her with an orgasm. I have heard that you are a high value man, but you have a right. Yeah, that's why he doesn't have any women. Okay, the dork from Ayanda Alphas, who was like a male gay stripper before. That stupid fuck, okay, that's on all these steroids. He said that he's never seen. <laughs> Myron do one successful cold approach that all the girls hate Myron. Myron hates them. He has no rotation. He has no girlfriend. He doesn't make them come. What a surprise. He's also a huge misogynist and a loser. I've with a low value performance. Eh? Yo, Abba and Preacher, ignorant, bro. You, you, I could tell just by looking at you, y'all never been in comrades in arms. Y'all never been in the field, in the trenches, when it's cold as hell and you got to sit in there because the enemy firing. So what do you want to do for warmth? You cuddle up. It ain't gay to <laughs> be little spoon and big spoon with your homie so you can save on warmth and survive through the night. And you know what? It ain't gay to kiss him on the cheek and tuck him in and say, hey, good night, nigga. <laughs> That shit ain't gay. That's called love, and you need that when it's cold out there. Matter of fact, if you want to put your hands underneath the sheets and check underneath his bottoms, make sure his booty cheeks are still clapping, that shit ain't gay either. That's brotherly love. That's boys being boys, but you wouldn't know about that because y'all too busy out here dancing like fairies. All these gay niggas always want to make out everyone like them. It's not gay to play a prank on your homie and give him some dome. It ain't gay. Matter of fact... 
Pretending to be attracted to your homies makes you more attractive to females. <laughs> this is like when uh, my old business partner, Josh, who you guys have seen on the channel, he used to go and fuck with people on the RC Nation forums. He's like, yeah, guys, to get into state, you need to have your wings jerk you off. And everybody's like, what? No, that's gay. He's like, no, think about it. <laughs> it's gay if you don't do it. <laughs> Look at him here. <laughs> Matter of fact, if you learn how to do dome, you can teach your girl how to please you better, which is her job. It ain't gay. It's a keep in mind, guys. Vaginas are gross, according to Myron Gaines. Stop being a better leader and a provider by giving her the step by step instructions. You gotta be. How you gonna teach your girl how to do what you need? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you don't know how to do it, that's like learning to drive for somebody who never drove. If you want your girl to suck you off, you gotta learn how to do it, <laughs> bro. That shit ain't gay, dog. That shit ain't gay. And all you little guys at home, you know, y'all never been on a team. Y'all ain't never had to be with your boys in the showers and seen them them glutes just moving up and down. And you ain't never smacked it. Cause you ain't never been in that environment. You're too busy being at home playing Warcraft and shit. That's gay. Orcs and, and elves and pointy ears, that's gay. Nah, bro, you know what's gay? Eating is gay. Facts. Facts. <laughs> and if you're a masculine man, you're a high value man, you never go near a vagina. Because think about it, vagina is where little boys come out of. So you want to lick that inside where we're little babies. That, that's also for pedos. That's weird. There's a lot of guys like in this stupid red pill movement too that say, oh, they don't kiss girls because she sucked other guys' dicks with those lips. These guys are so fucking corny. They're like trying to be the coolest guy ever, but they're doing so from a theoretical position, completely removed from any kind of actual dating experience. All right, so we will wrap up there. Watch the video on the end screen where it shows Myron having a nuclear meltdown, going fucking ballistic, smashing a coffee mug and a TV. Okay, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Hop on a free 30 minute call if you want to solve all your dating problems very quickly and make sure you like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.